I want to talk about endpoints and why they're so important. I want to talk about how to make them and I'm going to be showing along the way the grind real API that I've been working on and why endpoints are so important. The first thing is that endpoints are communication channels. When you make a route that goes slash ice cream slash one, that will bring you the first ice cream. And if you change ice cream to beer slash one, it will give you the first beer. Those are two different microservices that both do two different things. That's the best thing about endpoints is you can make a giant API with a bunch of different routes, a bunch of different endpoints, and they can all do different things. But they all work through the same application. APIs can be used for anything, everything from tiny information like a name, all the way to credit card transactions, to code transaction, to picture transactions, everything that's being sent over the web can be sent through APIs. And the best thing about it, like I talked in my last video about how you can structure your project, is that you can make a server split up from the client and now you can add applications working on the same server. You're not stuck to an MVP structure where everything's stuck to one app. Most endpoints work through HTTP or HTTPS, which are two different methods you can use for talking over the internet. Endpoints usually work in CRUD formation, so create, read, update, and delete. Create, you want to create a ice cream in your ice cream database. Read, you want to pull and read an ice cream from the ice cream database. Update, you want to update information from an ice cream from the ice cream database and delete, you want to delete an ice cream from the ice cream database. Now APIs communicate through URLs, which is where the word routes come in. So something like slash ice cream, slash new, slash uh, chocolate banana. That would be a new ice cream called chocolate banana that's being created. Or you can, or you can do a slash ice cream, slash delete, slash one, which will go delete the first ice cream in the database. Endpoints are always a channel to grab data. Whatever your application is based off of, you're going to have endpoints if you're doing that specific structure where you can access certain information. Now when working with CRUD apps, most of the time you're using the top four types of HTTP requests. You have POST, which is sending information, that's the create. You have GET, which is getting information, that's the read. You have UPDATE, or PUT, which is the update of the CRUD, and then you have the delete, which is delete. I'm gonna show you guys what I've used in my API, and then from there I can show you how I plan it. So here in the console, I'm making sure that my app is running and ready. Let's go into VS Code. Here we can see one of my basic endpoints. You have to go slash API, slash get user, slash key. Now this is considered restful routing. Slash API brings you to all the API features slash get users brings you to all the getting users features and then in this case just slash key will allow you to just get all the users because you're not giving a specific user ID like one two three or a huge number you're just going straight to the endpoint and it returns everything to you uh, I do have authentication set up so I'll show you guys what that looks like but anyways this is the index endpoint when you go here it returns a string to you just like in the index position but if I were to try and go right here to this without a key, it returns an error because I'm trying to access the API without a key, which is where my authentication comes in. But let's go right here and just write the word something, which is a hard-coded key. And give it a moment, and there we go. We get our users from the API. Now this is a read endpoint. Out of the CRUD, this is a read. I ask it to give me users. So I'm not affecting the database at all, which happens through a put or a post or a delete. But but a get, in this case what I'm using, does not at all, I repeat, at all modify anything in the back end. It is just for reading and that's it. If you want to store how many times a person read, that's one thing. But that, that's it, for reading and reading only. This is one tool I use called JS Doc. Now depending on the language you're using, you just throw the language name and then doc, so Java Doc, C Sharp Doc, JS doc, Ruby doc, whatever you want. Usually you can find one that maps comments into uh, documentation. So here I have my authentication function. I have some comments on top of it in the code, which I can pull up right here. If I go to my uh, main server file, authentication function right here. So this is what comments look like. We'll check database 
for a key and return a boolean. It takes out a key and it returns a boolean. We go here, we click on this, and we can see that it takes in a key, it takes in a key, number, authentication key. Now, I think I made a mistake about how I did the return, but anyways, this is the point. You know, great documentation here. I got my, my table with all my routes and all the information about them. I got some user, uh, user stories down there, and this is just a clean way of documenting your whole project. You can throw this into your readme and even make a website like a quick Google Pages uh, website out of this. Make so much great documentation about your project so when you come back to it, it's all clean and ready for you. And this is how I recommend uh, to to make endpoints. Before you actually make the endpoints, just plan out the database. So make an ERD and then plan out your endpoints of what you want, you know, out of your user stories. You make your user stories like, hey, user needs to be able to get all the usernames and then go make an endpoint for that. And then go figure out database, what a user would look like, what their model looks like. Hope you guys enjoyed. That's it for today. Tomorrow I'm gonna to try and come in with a day in the developer where I record my day at work and everything from the morning all the way to night. We'll see how that goes. See you guys in the next one.